Alright, what's up guys? As always, welcome back to the UBL Week 3 versus Olivia. And, um, well, this is a tough team. I'm gonna actually leave it on the screen so you guys get a feeling for what I'm actually going up about. The thing is, Olivia is a really, really, really strong player. Uh, always respected her, not only because of her content, but also because she's just a very, very small player. Her New Orleans Saint Snow has always pressured me, we battle each other, I think, but this will be the third time, and I, while I've been able to, um, like, not get, <laughs> I was gonna say, swept, I also know this is a player that just pressures me naturally, and has a good idea of how she wants to play the game, and pressure me through that, and um, I'll always fall behind on that, so, my team plan is trying not to allow certain Pokemon to work, like Crawdon, for example, I'm every Pokemon I use here, I was speeding it, and I guess if I'm gonna leave myself open to anything, I'll say that Mian Xiao is probably the only Pokemon that straight off beats me, uh, no matter what I do, and my strat is to try to bait it. So, with that in mind, this is the team she is bringing. Yeah, man, so is there. Actually, all the mons that should be here are here. I guess besides Blossom, but at the same time, that's kind of makes Blossom just that ferocious thing. Sean Delore is probably the Pokemon I'm missing here. Everything else kind of makes sense. In both a good and a bad way, actually. Mudstale is a Pokemon I don't want to deal with head-on. There's a lot of Pokemon I don't want to deal with here head-on, actually. Um, hmm... Best lead. I think Kotal is a kind of a right lead. Everything else here, like everything here, is scary. Not seeing Blissey and not seeing Shandalo is. Um, I was gonna say disappointing, <laughs> but at the same time, um, I get the team. Like everything here is optimized. There were never like Kurem, Mudstale. Uh, Corviknights, all of them are very, very, very strong opposing Pokemon that made a ton of sense of bringing to this matchup, and everything else is just, uh, I was gonna say, flavor. <laughs> Let's see, leads up with Deco Mori. Yes. Deco Mori indeed. Um, now, she doesn't have anything that resists the close combat, which is great. So we're going to abuse that. I think only the stamina Pokemon in Mud still comes in here. Uh, the side switch out, which I think is fair. Two Rider, yeah. And the thing is, I don't want to U-turn and uh, pretty much push this further. Oof, it does good though, it does good. Stamina is going to be kicking in and then we're going to see, I think, Leftovers. No Leftovers. So, free to Stealth Rock, free to Earthquake, and um, just overall, it's not necessarily all that flesh sent. I think I'm gonna send in Helios, and um, she could probably go for Stealth Rock there. I think it's a very safe play. And um, rest. Okay. So, it's not Assault, I guess it could be Chesto Resto, maybe? Push that stamina out to the... Oh, yeah, Chester Resto, cool. I, I can respect that, actually. Um, Blossom's gonna come in, though. I'll Volt Switch here. Because, like I said, Blossom just makes sense. Phoebe, yeah? It's probably one of the few times where I feel... Just, this is a scary Pokemon and should be always be coming in. <laughs> um, that said, I have nothing that threatens it like head on. So I'm going to send in Kotal. I want to see leftovers. Alright, do I gunk shot? Or do I knock off? I think a U-turn actually. 
I don't believe she wants to stay in. Would she just? That's scary. Ah, so... That's Rocky Helmet. I was like, hmm. <laughs> cool. I actually like that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna send him Balrog, I think. Or do I... I guess sleep powder could be a thing. Moonblast, you don't do anything. Quiver Dance is probably the only thing that kind of scares me. Actually, I'm gonna bring Nova. I won't do that. Um, uh, yeah, I'm bringing Eskino. I don't want to see sleep powder. Stun Spore. Yeah, that's worse. We do avoid it though, but that's worse. Double arm bashing here. We do a heal bell on mill tank, so I guess we can avoid that ish. But yeah, that's not pleasant. Strength sap. Yeah, that's a cool play. I like that. Should have probably predicted that now I think about it. So strength sap, stun spool. Let's see. Oh yeah, this Blossom actually eats this hits naturally. Oh wow, yeah. I can respect that. I can respect that a lot actually. This is way worse than I wanted. This I did not want to see this. Right. Singing Ashbringer, I I don't know what to do. Blossom is now an absolute threat, and uh, lead seed also. This is a very nasty set. This is a very nasty set, I don't know what to do. <laughs> There's a sunspot, that's fair. It's gonna pop the Lumberry. Um, I think I fold this up with a poison jab just to do as much damage as possible. But I am on a timer, and a very nasty one at that. I don't know what to do. I felt I was in a strong position versus this. This is cool though. This is very cool. I'm... <laughs> I'm so impressed though. I like this. I like this a lot. Let's see. Poison Jack will do... Almost KOing. Get the poison. And here comes Strength Sap, which... Probably will get her fully recovered. Yep. Yeah. This 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 is the one that makes a thumbnail for sure. So what to do? We've seen Strength Sap, we've seen... Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna Frisk, Rocky Helmet, yeah, I knew that. Stun Spore, I will be immune to that. So, I'm subbing here. I don't know how Strength Sap works behind... Uh, behind a substitute. Decides withdrawals, which I think is fair. To what? Oh, that's kind of nasty, isn't it? So I guess I find out if it's scarfed or not. 
We're gonna pull her guys here. It could be scarfed. It isn't. But avoided attack because this is the game we play. <sighs> Positive note. It's not scarfed. Negative note. This guy used overall. Um, gonna send in Borrelia. Never sounded stranger. <laughs> oh, this is this is tough. This is very tough. It's ninety percent though. That's what you. That's what we aiming for. I knew I probably wanted to lead seed, but we do outspeed it, which is good. He could be carrying focus blast. Goes for free strike, which is just about right. Won't do anything. Yeah. I think body press for us is not too scary to go for. But at the same time, which Pokemon comes in? Ah, body press. I think I forced it out to Mudstail. I want to see how much at least one body press does. Here comes Ryder. Probably nothing. Me, me. He's not horrible. Could have been worse. Um. Yeah, this is still my play though. This is not turning out great for us, but it speaks more to my opponent than anything else. Let's see, body press. And that's gonna do a lot. Yeah, I think that's fair. And uh, this time we won't do the, the big boy plays, we go directly for harder pump, just to get as much damage in there as possible. If I had to guess, I would say the Belossum still comes in, but this time it's gonna send in Pulver Guys directly, I think. But I wanted to Hydro Pump. Phoebe is one hell of a mon right now. At least we connected that, that's kinda nice. I actually not think about it. If she goes for Strength Sap trying to um, trying to get some recovery. It's bulky though, I should be able to have speed with the whole switch. Cause I think it makes more sense to actually go for strength sap trying to recover. Because with that in mind, I want to sit in Kotal and just get that boost. Hang in there, Kotal. There we go. So this leaves us with... A very chunky U-turn or gunk shot. I want to try to go for that KO. Please connect this. Wonderful. Ah, oh, there we go. Like I sound like this was super decisive. It was a blossom, but that man was really, really standing in my way. That was a phenomenal mon. That set, while simple, efficiently shut down in every of my offensive Pokemon. I am in... Um, I am actually impressed. That was devastating for me. <sighs> Ryder comes in. Alright, and we have got some prior damage. 
We're not in KO range. But I do want to try to break it. Let's see, a plus one will do good damage. Good damage. Will it retaliate or will it rest? Retaliate with the Earthquake, I think that case KO us. Mainly because it's 1 in 20 base power plus I am minus 1. But... Wow, crit. Yeah. Like I said, don't think that matters. But we now have the chance to take him out. Question is... Can I send in Aspringer? Aspringer. <laughs> He's the Aspringer. <laughs> and go for a rather safe Aqua Tail. I could Dragon Dance, but I think I punish myself by doing so. Basically, everything I use right now is in range of. Um, He's in range of Mian Xiao, just eating me alive. And that's not a pleasant, pleasant experience. So I need to find a way to break Mian Xiao. Knight is not also, by the way, a very, very easy Pokemon to deal with. Philo. That's Corviknight. I was going to say it's THE Corviknight, even. Um, Escanor, hands down. The previous set with this was Sword Stance, but now I'm not so sure that's going to help me. Let's see. Agility. That's kind of cool, though. Agility, possibly body press. Uh, I'll Thunder Wave here. Bulk up. So agility, bulk up, most likely power trip. Connect this. I beg of you. No, no, didn't get it. Didn't get it. Last time we battled, I had I was heavily, heavily um, lucked out with hacks, with two really strong turns, and I only think it's fair that I get the bitter end of that right now because this Covenite is just about to end me. The only thing standing between us right now is hacks. Twenty-five percent of that. Kids bulk up, I think that's great. I still do good damage. That's leftovers. That's no, that's a weakness policy in Foya. Here comes a very, very nasty series of power trips for me. Ooh, this is scary. Right, Roost, cool. So is it only power trip? I guess so. You know, at this point, I kind of... Um, the way my opponent played... Oh, there it is. One of the Forsaken... I want him to roost. If I get him to roost, I think I can... Actually, I don't think I can do anything. I think my opponent just won. And I am just experiencing exactly the worst of it. Because there is nothing I can do. Besides paralyzation, there is nothing I can do. 
This should stress him out. Partrip will kill me no matter what. Volt Switch, however, can very much kill him too. So if you get the Power Trip, he's gonna win. Gets the Power Trip, here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. There is nothing I can do. This is... This is the G's of G's. And I can only, like I said, really, really tell my opponent GG. I really, really, really like this set. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you should try to wrap up I mean I was basing myself on hacks one thing I regret that I was considering heavily was iron defense on my Mel metal and it would have negated this situation it really would have but besides that I am in no position of ever winning this matchup And the only thing I can do is somehow try to prolong this. But the power trips are coming and there is nothing I can do to stop them. To be honest, I just kind of want to forfeit. Because I know exactly what position I am in. I'm, I'm playing this through, don't get me wrong, but... Come on, there is nothing I can do to stop this. I just want to give my opponent the win he deserves. <laughs> Um, wow. You know what? I'm, I'm just impressed. I am just very much impressed. And I... <laughs> like, I'm trying to consider how... Like, all I needed was one per life station where it matters. Oh yeah, because the weakness policy is gone. Um, I'm being dumb. Um... I'll do like this. Like, I think my last big boy play here is uh, close combat and then just trying to wrap up. Um, the reason I sound so confused is because I know which position I am in. Breaks the mold to the power trip. There I go. So, yeah, I'm not gonna stall this any further. I'm going to get. I'm gonna ensure that my opponent gets his KOs. And that's my play. That's the only thing I can do. I can't wrap up, but I can, or I mean forfeit, but he deserves to get these. Come on. The way I build that up, he deserves this. Come on, power trip. Nice. It should devastate it. There I go. So. I guess if I were kind of looking back on the game, what could have done? I know I could have played maybe the timer, I guess. I do have that to my benefit. But um, we are experiencing the same game here, and I feel the best player got this. And I may have exposed myself a bit to, to Covenite, thinking about it. I mean, my number one play versus this probably, like, the pluralization, did it matter? Or, I mean, not getting fun away the first time. I say both yes and no. But at the same time, I don't know what else I could have done to stop it. Getting the first paralyzation, yeah, it would have helped. But at the same time, this was the bulk upset. It was going to be eating me alive no matter what I did. So, yeah, I mean, I'm repeating myself. But to Olivia, phenomenal battle. Very, very well constructed. And, um... I really can't say much else than that. I think this was a very smart set, and uh, I just opened myself up for that. And that speaks more to my opponent than me. So, um, I was so scared of Miensha, I was so scared of Crodont, and here comes a sweeping burial of Covenite that just breaks through. And, um, Olivia did, did his way better than me. Uh, with that said, make sure to check out her channel. Uh, she makes phenomenal content. I always enjoy watching her every, on, every so often because they're such a high quality. And for everyone watching me, thank you for doing just so. I hope you enjoyed this to the bitter end. Um, but the better player won here, and it sure as hell wasn't me. So as always, guys, thank you for watching, and have a great day, everyone. Take care.